Hello, my name is Tony Riggs and I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at inserting a pause into our build job so that we can do a couple things with our 3D printer. One option that we could do would be to go in and change out the color. So in this case on the screen, we've got a part with some text on it. We might want the text to print in a different color so it will stand out. Another thing that we can do is go in and insert a pause and maybe place a washer or a nut or a bolt and put in some captive hardware as we continue on and print over the top of them leaving them inside the part. So there's a couple ways of doing this but this is the way that I normally do it. I want to go in and just green flag process the part and that slices it up in its layers and then I want to go in with the page up and down button and I'm going to scroll up until I make sure that I'm at my first layer where there's text. So page down, page up, so that is the first layer. If we come over to the toolpaths pull down, we can go to insert pause. And it says all layers containing a pause are highlighted. Modeler will pause at the beginning of the selected layer. So before this layer starts printing, it's going to add a pause. Now, what we have to do to get this to happen is actually select the layer. So I've seen people forget to do that from time to time and say OK. Now if we go over to the display toolbar and show all the layers, we can actually see that layer still highlighted on the screen. Now one thing that confuses people sometimes is once I get out of this tool, it's no longer highlighted. But just to verify that, if we go back to Tools, Insert Pause, that layer is still highlighted. Now how do we go ahead and send this to the machine? If we go over and just hit the build job icon and send that to the machine, it's going to come back with an error saying, hey, we really need to regenerate the tool paths because we've modified them a little bit. Again, there's a couple ways of doing this, but the easy way is to come up and hit the little tool path icon on the main toolbar. That goes through and regenerates the tool paths. And then once we get that, we can come over and send that to the machine. It rewrites a CMB file. We can choose our machine to send it to and then it's going to come over and show up in our control center. So again, this is Tony Riggs from Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video to be helpful.